This is clip two of showing the automatic air primer and a basic drafting setup. We're here in Carroll County, Maryland at the Winfield Community Volunteer Fire Department with their engine 142, 1500 gallon in the pumper, drafting out a 20 feet of six inch hard sleeve with a floating strainer. I'm Mark Davis from GBW Associates, uh, home of GotBigWater.com, and we're evaluating, uh, taking a look at different things the air primer can do. Now, the air primer on this pumper has been left in the automatic position. We'll take a quick look at that. So the air primer is in the auto mode. What's going to happen is the driver operator is going to engage the pump. And as soon as he puts that in uh, pump gear, you're going to find the air primer begin to automatically prime this hard sleeve. So we'll try to capture that and take a look at that. Once he has his prime, then we're going to charge the line. So here he goes. Our operator, Scott Dayoff, climbing in. We're going to listen to the air primer. It should engage right away. There's the air primer. He's still in the cab. Here comes the water. He's not at the pump panel yet, but guess what? The pump is just about primed even at idle speed. He's gonna raise the throttle to a thousand. We have pressure on the discharge, and now we're all set. He's gonna open that attack line and start to flow water. So actually a pretty, a printer, a pretty interesting use, excuse me, pretty interesting use of that air primer by having it left in the auto mode, which really wasn't meant to be, uh, it primed itself before he could get to the pump panel. That water was almost there. So interesting feature of that auto mode in terms of uh, the uh, Trident air primer itself. In other video clips, we're going to take a look at other drafting scenarios uh, using the air primer and some of the things that it can do.